Huh? Greetings, programs! It is I, the CPU001, and welcome back to another episode of Trails in the Sky. And in the previous episode, we liberated Dolendal and chased off some more Sky Bandits, and I was going to head back to town, but something appears to have happened. So, let's see. Huh? Well, what the heck? <laughs> now, this is something I did not expect. I wonder if we should be glad since they saved us the trouble of having to contact them. It's the army! Ha! <laughs> oh, good. Hi! We've found a suspicious armed group! Put your hands in the air, all of you! Oh, this is where we're coming to a woman and two kids, the Sky Bandits? The girl does look shifty. <laughs> hey now. That's just rude. And who are you calling Sky Bandits? Can't you see the shiny emblem on my chest? Hmm. <laughs> The Bracer Emblem, huh? I hope you didn't think for a moment something like that prove your innocence. Ah! Oh goody. It's the old man. General Morgan? What are you doing here? After looking over the reports of my men, I found this place to have sufficient investigation. So I came here to see for myself. Who would have thought a lot of you were conspiring with the Sky Bandits? Might I get you to stop with the accusation, General? We happen to find this place one step ahead of your men. If that's the truth, then why don't you tell me where the Sky Bandits are? Are the hostages inside the airliner? We almost had the Sky Bandits, but they managed to escape. And there are no hostages to be found in here. Hmm, looks like the truth has come out. More like you notified the Sky Bandits to let them know you were coming. Wait a minute! How about you cut through the crap? My thoughts exactly! Alright, man, take them into custody. Well... Poop. <laughs> yeah, okay. The General will be questioning you himself in the morrow. If your innocence is proven, then you will be released in two or three days. So for the time being, this cell will give you a place to cool your heels. Ah. This is not even funny. Tuss tossing us in a place like this without even listening to a word we had to say. If the army manages to arrest the Sky Bandits, then I'm sure we'd have our names cleared. But with the way things are at the moment, that may not be possible. Huh? Why not? Remember why the Sky Bandit leader? Remember what the Sky Bandit leader we fought the old mine said, right? He said, this can't be right, you're not supposed to be here this early, if I remember correctly. And uh, now that you mention it, he did say that, didn't he? You're not trying to tell me that he meant the army that by that, are you? I don't know for sure, but I would, but I would bet that's what he meant. Which means that the Sky Bandits have a mole in the army. Or a collaborator who is leaking information. That's what you wanted to say, isn't it, Joshua? Yeah. Well, what if, if that's the case, they'd never get caught. Which means we have the only ones that stood a chance in nabbing them. But now we're stuck in here. I wonder how your father would get around this little setback. My, my, my. Well, don't you all seem to be... Well, don't you all seem to be in a bit of a fix. Did you just say something, Joshua? No, I didn't say anything. It came from the cell next door. It sounds familiar. Oh, how could you say something so heartless? My illustrious voice couldn't be should be recognized to anyone. Oh God! Could this uh, could this be could this unfound self confidence and tone of absurd narcissism belong to? It's you, isn't it, Oliver? <laughs> it do remember me, my. <laughs> Delicate cords. And how did you end up in there? <laughs> to think that we'd meet again in a place like this. It seems that we're bound by destiny. Why are you here? I thought we took you to Bose. And now you're locked up in this, in a place like this. What the heck did you do? Come um, now, let's not worry about all the little details, shall we? I have my reasons, which are deeper than the deepest oceans and higher than the highest peak. I'm definitely not asking now. I'm sure we just 
I'm sure we'd just get tired while you talked your ears off. What a coincidence, Estelle. I was just thinking the same thing. So, there you have it. You don't really care. We, we don't really care to know. You talk so much that it would probably be an old woman by the time you were done, and I'm not ready for wrinkles yet. <laughs> Come now, let's not be like that. I'll find you... I'll fill you in on the details of the tragic incident which befell me. Didn't you listen, dummy? We don't want to hear about it. All began after we parted ways. I did some window shopping in the post market and then moved on to the uh, Antro's restaurant. You see, once I had eaten to my heart's content, I began to play the grand piano to then feed my artistic soul. And upon doing so, the restaurant manager was overcome by my skill. So I was asked to stay and work as the professional pianist for the restaurant. That's great, no, but I thought you were supposed to be a lutist. Ha! A musical genius is not limited to just one instrument? Anyway, back to my story. After negotiating a few of my own conditions, I accepted the job offer. Those conditions were, of course, food and wine for free every day instead of Mira. I don't know how to put it, uh, but that's... I don't know how to put it, but that's very you, Oliver. Yet I'm not sure how that was anything to do with you getting thrown in jail. Oh, well, this is where the real sob story begins. That night I had been enjoying a plate, a plate of salted duck. I'd had the chief chef prepare. But the blood sauce which had been used was a little too overbearing for my palate. Consequently, I began to feel that normal red wine was not satisfying enough. The more you talk, the more I want to hit you. But go on, I'm curious in spite of knowing better. Well, so I borrowed a bottle of wine which seemed good from the cellar. Something called Grand Chardonnay from the year 1183. <laughs> Grand Chardonnay from the year 1183? <laughs> That's the legendary vintage wine that was, that was auctioned off in the royal city. Oh, well, aren't you well informed? I heard a rumor about it too, so of course I was interested in having a drink of it myself. Auctioned off? How much are we talking about here? From what I heard, it went for somewhere in the neighborhood of 500,000 Mira. 500,000? Just for one bottle? That's out of this world. And you didn't, did you, Oliver? Ha! <laughs> Such a needless question. Of course I opened the bottle and had a sip. Such sweet-smelling fragrance tickled my nostrils. Its luxurious mellow tastes cascaded my throat. And can you believe what else? A rose-tinted vintage of time and space existed within that very bottle. I don't think I could listen to this any longer. Yeah, my ears are bleeding from listening to such stupidity. I'm completely dumbfounded. The sad thing is that after taking a sip of such excellent wine, I began to feel the food was lacking. And as I was having the chef cook me up something else to match the wine, the restaurant manager returned. Since I'm st <laughs> since I'm not st uh, since I'm not a stingy fellow, I can I cordially invited him to join me for a drink. But for some odd reason, he got rather upset. In fact, he got so steaming mad that his face took looked like a ripe tomato. And before I could say another word, a group of soldiers came. Uh, came filling in, filing in, and well, one thing led to another, and I can't say another word about this tragedy for being dragged all the way here without coming to tears. So let's all weep together as as you sympathise with my dilemma. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Pardon. But do my ears deceive me? I could have sworn I heard zzz and zzz, even a nauseable, even a nauseable misheard idiot coming from your cell. Are you listening? This is where the story gets really interesting. See, several further trials awaited me after I was brought here. Hello? Are you listening? Nope. <laughs> hey, you there, get up. Oh, no, sorry. Hey, you there, get up. <laughs> Yawn. I'm tired. What's wrong? What are you trying to tell us we're being interrogated this early in the morning? That's a little early even for me. Oh, it's just the opposite. You're being released. Huh? 
And that was easy. Uh, why all this all of a sudden? Is there a reason for this? Yes, I'd like to consider myself that reason. Yeah, it's Mabella. <laughs> Mabella. What? Well, what an unusual place to be meeting you. I'm really sorry about everything that's happened to you. But don't worry, your names have been cleared. <laughs> I don't completely agree with everything, but... This is a request coming from Maybella herself. You'd better remember to thank her. So, you mean May Bear, May Mary Bella stood up on our behalf? No, that's not exactly it. I just explained your situation to General Morgan. Our situation? Yes, I have one question for the both of you. Are you really the children of Cassius Bright? Uh, yes, that's right. This is Estella Bright, and I'm his adopted son, Joshua. I see. Now that you mention it, the girl does look slightly re does slightly resemble Lena. Huh? You knew my mother? Yes, I enjoyed your mother's cooking for several occasions when I visited your home in Rowlands. Hmm, in fact, we even met once when you were just a baby. Now, wait a minute. You're a personal acquaintance of my dad's? I knew that he was in the military before, but... <laughs> I don't know Cassius Bright the Bracer. The only Cassius I know is the one from the service. He was a rare strategist. Strategist? Dad? I just can't imagine what he saw in the Bracer Guild. It makes me angry just thinking about it. You'll have to excuse me. Stomp, 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 stomp. What's wrong with him? It seems like your father was a brilliant officer in the military. I've heard from the general that he tried several times to get your father to change his mind about retiring. I didn't know that. Somehow it feels hard to believe. However, if that's the case, the general's hatred for braces may stem from Cassius leaving the army. From the vexation of being left by one of his most promising men. I got the same impression. So what you're saying is our lives are such a pain because of dad. Ah, dirty rotted scoundrel! <laughs> How about we turn to the boats now? With the, air, with the airliner being found, the situation has taken a new turn. So there are a number of things I'd like to discuss with you. Oh, sure. Is something the matter? Uh, I'm definitely ready to get out of here, but it feels like we're forgetting something. Now that you mention it, what could it be? Uh-uh. Oh, how callous people can be at times. How could you forget about a companion who spent the night with you in a cold, hard cell? How lamentable. How pitiful. Fine, but if that will be that way, I shall wither away, friendless and hungry, alone in this dark purgatory. Is he still here? <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about him. I'm sorry to say this, but that's not much we can do for you. Is he the magician, the musician I heard about? The one who took that bottle of Grand Chardonnay without a second thought. <laughs> Indeed, that is I. Yet, my fair lass, I would be heartbroken if you took my introduction the wrong way, intentions the wrong way. For you see, I perceived it as an advanced payment for the exquisite service that I was able to render. <laughs> You're quite the interesting character. All right, I'll see what I can do to bargain with the general for your release. Really? Truly? You would do such a kind service for a man such as myself? I think that may be asking a bit much. If the restaurant takes this to, takes this to trial, there's got to be at least a lawsuit. <laughs> well, there's no need to worry about that. You see, the owner of the restaurant is me. Ha. <laughs> and that Grand Chardonnay was the very one I bid on. That being the case, I'm fairly confident there won't be any other problems over the matter. Oh, poo. They let him out. I can't believe you were released. It's like a stroke of bad luck. <laughs> Please don't lay on the compliments so thick. However, it pains my soul that I partook of such fine wine without paying a single lira. Shall I play the piano in the restaurant per our contract to remedy that? I think I'm going to have to pass on that. 
After what happened, I think it would be a bit awkward having you back there. I for one don't think I mind a bit. I don't think we'd mind a bit. Yeah, he sure does seem to have some thick skin. <laughs> Let's just think of this as an unfortunate incident for the both of us. But I don't think I can just let things go like this. Hmm, let's see. It seems like you're investigating something at the moment, right? How about I lend my assistance a return for the wine? Huh? Well, that does sound interesting. Could I ask you to join these braces in their work? Ha! <laughs> Could you ever? So it's settled. Let our new working relationship bloom. Like a magnolia in the height of spring. Hold on a second, what did you do to deserve- what did we do to deserve this? Uh, your general weirdness aside, simply having an amateur like you around is honestly going to be a pain. So, are you confident you won't be a drag on our work? Or our sanity? Well, I'm somewhat confident in my marksmanship and magic, but of course I'd be... I'd be distressed if you tried to list my music genius in the same group. That's the kind of line we get that gets me worried. But maybe we could use an extra hand. As long as we can't count on the army to help us out, I have a feeling that we'll be short of manpower. Yeah, well, all right then. We'll use you for what he, for what you're worth. However, if we do happen to conclude that you're, when well, you're not worth your weight, you're dumped from the party. So, are you going to be okay with that? Ha! Ah, of course, I don't mind. I'd never let you down, so please be reassured. Well, my expectations for you are pretty much at rock bottom anyway, so I know you won't let me down. Hmm, I'm glad things are settled between you all. But before you go, there's something I need to tell you. Tell us? Actually, the town did seem pretty noisy as we headed, as we headed here. What happened? Truth be told, last night there was a large-scale burglary in both South Block. The weapon shop and orbital factory were targeted, as were a number of private residents. What? So is this the work of the Sky Mandates? It's unknown at this time, but it seems highly probable. A unit of the Royal Army is currently conducting an investigation. I see. Guess we better investigate on our own then. Yes, I'd like to formally request that you do just that. I'll send a payment over to the Guild for the work you've done so far. Please make use of the money at your current investigation expenses. I have a feeling that the Army's going to get in our way again. But I guess if, when that happens, it happens. Whether they get in their way or not, I don't think we should be info we should be forthcoming with the army about the information we came across. Because if there's really a spy in their midst, they'll just leak it to the Sky Bandits. Though I'm reluctant to say it, I also think it's for the best to keep quiet about our findings. Anyway, let's act with presidents. Alrighty, <laughs> my bosom companion, shall we head to the South Block? Look. Buddy, who made you the king of the show? <laughs> so, it looks like Oliver is now a full party member. So, I'm guessing our next destination is the South Bank to continue this fascinating investigation. Actually, no, let's go to the... Uh, hang on. Should I... Yeah. I think I'd better... Let's head over to the guild a minute and just check these two in a minute. Hello, look at... Receiving payments from the mayor, Marbella, for your investigation efforts this far. ka -ching! Get paid. 6,000 Mira and 5 points. Nice. I still didn't get a level. Yeah, but good work. Ah. Use the phone? No. Right, anything on the notice board? Ooh, we have something new. A stolen ring. Ooh. Term medium. Uh, Luana, 2,000 mirror. Difficulty low. I was burglarized the other day and my jeweled ring was found to be among the missing items. It's quite valuable to me. If anyone happens to find it, please let me know. I live in on, I live on, on both South Block. That was a terrible accident and I will not do it again. Anything else? No, just the ring. Cool. Right, okay, let's... Right, well, guess where I'm going in the next episode. That's right, South Block. I am going to wrap this episode up here. I hope you are enjoying this series uh, as always. And if you've got any questions, please, if you've got any comments, even, leave them down below. Much appreciated. 
and I will see you all next time. This is the CPU001 signing out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.